What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to highlight in a specific or inserting item of your navigation menu for example like this into this website as you can see we have the submit website highlighted from the menu items okay so it looks different it has a specific CSS on it to make it looks like a button for example and it, it's widely used for websites to drop user attention, for example, to the main act that you most do into this menu, for example, register, login, shop, some things like this, okay? So let's get the guide. But before we can do this, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours. You have no idea how much it helps us, okay? because we bring daily videos about WordPress, SEO, optimizations, and everything you need to know in order to use internet on your site's favor. So let's get this started. First of all, go to our WordPress dashboard. I always like to start the videos on the dashboard and make sure that you have a menu on your site, okay? A navigation menu. If you are using a normal WordPress theme, you can see the menu under your left sidebar of items into the WordPress dashboard, appearance, menus, okay? Go right here and create your primary menu, okay? This is the menu of this website, it's set as primary menu, and it's working just fine as you can review right here. And once still into the appearance, you can see a new section like this, call it customize, click on it, okay? Right here, the settings that gonna appear may change according to the theme that you are using. And if you do not see the customizer on your WordPress dashboard, no need to worry. Just type like this, your domain URL WP admin customize.php, okay? I'm gonna explain this later, but if you do not see the customize under appearance as I did, just type this and you're gonna be onto a page almost like this one. If you are not using a Visual Moto WordPress theme, you may not see as many elements as you can see right here, but there is always elements right here. So we're gonna be looking for the additional CSS. This is a global setting of WordPress. So every WordPress theme gonna show this into the customized panel, okay? So no need to worry, independently of the team that you are using, premium or free, you're gonna be able to set this. And right here, you can type custom CSS codes on your site. And we're gonna type this code right here. Let me zoom in. I recommend that you pause the video right here so you can copy the code, cause YouTube does not let us add code into the video description, so I cannot share this with you. So just pause the video, copy this, don't forget the dot, don't forget this parts right here okay and this part right here the background can be up to you okay so you can choose basically okay this is a color and the sizes of course you can choose as well so after this typed click on publish now let's go back to our wordpress dashboard i'm gonna click into this x icon into the upper left corner and once again i'm gonna move to appearance into my left sidebar of menus and click on menus okay and let me choose what eating of my menu i would like to highlight in this case gonna be the contact the eating present right here okay the contact menu eating first of all we're gonna remove this sub menus from it just to make it better okay and I need to apply the CSS that we did type it previously into this. But as you can see, there is no field to apply custom CSS classes right here. And why? Because we most enable this. This is a hidden setting of WordPress. You can see it right here into the screen options. And once on screen options, CSS classes. Let me remove the screen options. Now, if I go to my menu eating, I can see the custom CSS class. And what I'm gonna type? I'm gonna type this class right here. Simple, right? Without the dot, we have no need for it yet. So, simple, highlighted menu. This is the CSS class that we did type it into the customizer panel previously, into the beginning of the video. 
and this is a class we're gonna call this class right here that's why we're gonna we are typing this so save change and let's reveal the results we got and here is our menu eating highlighted from the others of course we can customize the color the size of this we can apply some borders we can apply some shadow this is up to you the basic css and the idea beyond it it's now explained but let's explain how to do this if you are using a native wordpress theme or a wordpress theme without the these settings right here let me change my theme we're gonna be use the 2023 that is a team that introduced the full site customizer option. So as you can see, there is no more option to, to uh, enter menus. So what you do? First of all, go to the customize under appearance. As you can see, we still have the addition of CSS. We're going to enter the CSS. If you change your theme, the addition of CSS is going to be cleared up, so you need to enter this again. So, publish. Now, let me close this customize panel. And let's go to the editor, okay? It's still on beta version, so it may change according to the WordPress updates, but let's get this done using this as well. Right here, you can see all the menu items of our site, okay? So every single menu item on the site is right here. Your navigation menu may be, may be extremely, extremely fewer, with fewer items, okay? We can convert this to items, to, I, to links. Let's convert this to links, okay? Now, every single one is a link. We can remove then if you want. But let's imagine that you have only four items right here and would like to have one highlighted. For example, the home. We most click into the home, okay? As you can see right here, we, are, we have this home selected. So we most highlight the eating that we would like to highlight, okay, we most select the eating and after selection you can review this right sidebar of options into the block and screw it down until you can see the advanced field, click on it and additional CSS class. Right here we're gonna type our CSS class, okay? And after the text type it we are good to go, okay? So it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out the visualmodel.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes. In addition, check our borderless WordPress plugin in order to gain free widgets, elements, templates and tools, and even pre-built websites that you can import with a single click in order to make an amazing site. To install this plugin, go to our WordPress dashboard, plugins, add new, search for borderless, click on install and activate it. It's completely free. Moreover, in the case that you want to use the best free WordPress theme, go to our WordPress dashboard, appearance, themes, add new, search for Enzo WordPress theme, click on install, activate it, and you are good to go. Once it's completely free, it's gonna give you premium templates, premium assets, advanced customization options, and more pre-built websites that you can import with a single click. Moreover, if you want to go premium and count on our full support, icon assets, design assets, premium widgets, blocks, templates, and more pre-built websites to import with a single click for every business style, go to visualmoto.com, purchase the Visual Moto Pass, and go premium. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I see you tomorrow. All the best!